What's up everyone, Cold Fusion here, and welcome back to Resident Evil 5. Uh, last time we completed Chapter 2, the entirety of it, and uh, we finished off that with uh, a shooting gallery, where we had to fend off dudes on motorbikes and trucks, so uh, that was exciting. Anyway... Chapter 3-1 and how much money do I have? Oh, I only have 170? Do I literally... Is that correct? I didn't get any treasures. Well, I guess that is what we ended off on. Okay, sure. Well, I guess we'll move on then. Oh my god, the water textures are bugging out. What happened to your butt? Jill and I were pursuing a man named Albert Wesker. Wesker. He was the top official with Umbrella, the leader of our STARS unit. I met him again after the Raccoon City incident on Rockford Island. Since then, we've been trying to track him down. Then a few years ago, we got a tip from a reliable source. The whereabouts of Umbrella's founder, Oswell E. Spencer. So we paid him a visit, hoping he'd lead us to Wesker. Wesker! Oh boy. Matrix boy is here. It's literally always Umbrella. But behind everything. Bioweapons were responsible for the deaths of my parents. And someone has to pay for that. So you joined the BSAA. There's only so much one person can do. Even a superhero like you, Chris. <sighs> I'm no superhero. But together, we can end this. Then let's make a stand for our fallen brothers. Hang on. Okay, that was unnecessarily cool. Dude, the water's bugging out again. What the fuck? <laughs> Goddamn texture bugs. Alright. 3 1 Marshlands. So this, uh, 
this is a pretty interesting chapter, at least this opening segment anyway, because I'm going to be bringing up the map here, because as you can see, uh, we've got a vast open body of water which we can explore, and there's going to be a bunch of stuff to collect, and I'll get to those soon enough. I don't want that. I owe you one. Beast Slate. <clears throat> I'm gonna need that. Get a ruby here. And a brown beetle. I was gonna say jewel beetle, but that's not right. This dude got, uh, got destroyed. So, hmm. I have 17 shots. I wonder, on my practice when I hit this medallion on my first shot, believe it or not. I, I know that's not going to happen now. Yeah, see. Try and get it on. Anyway, there's a medallion up there. If I, I'll probably try another three more shots. If I don't get it, I'll just ignore it. I need to conserve ammo. Oh, that seems like it'll hit. Nope. Come on. Right. I think you get the point. <laughs> God, it's in now. I'm a bit rusty, I suppose. So we gotta use this, uh... This little skiff to get around. And we have a bunch of places we can go into. Uh, in order to get the other slates, I suppose we'll go to the checkpoint location. Because if we do, uh, we'll get a map. A slate map. So now this shows us, as you can see on the map, where the other slates are. Yeah, I know. I know where it is. Can I put the first slate in? The beast slate, okay. We'll probably get all the other slates first before we put them in. Just so it saves us having to make return trips. First off, we're gonna go straight up here to this little island. I think this is a somewhat long chapter as well. So we'll see well, how long it takes to get through it. Rifle ammo, good. It makes up for the shots I wasted. Should be a chalice in this chest, I think. Yes, silver chalice. Brown beetle, okay. Yeah. I think it's around this way, yeah. So that little line on the map that I'm going to now. Uh, we're going to do a save quit here because we're going to get a pretty important item which is going to be... I mean, it's going to be practically necessary as far as I'm aware. And I'll explain it when we get there, but it's, it's later on in the game. Because there's a weapon here. And it is... A fucking RPG! So we're going to get that. And what we're going to do... Well, I guess it was pointless putting the beast slate in. I guess. Anyway, we're gonna save quit because I don't want to carry this now. I'm not gonna have to use it for much later in the game. Continue. There you go. Now we're back here. Well, unless I want to be slogging around a, uh... I guess that means I can also get more treasures. <laughs> it's kind of cheesy, but uh, 
Fuck it, I'll abuse that. Now, to, I guess, in theory, I could just keep doing this over and over to get rocket launchers, and I can do that, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm only going to take the one rocket launcher, because I think, the, you know, the game intends you to pick that rocket launcher up and not save quit out. It expects you to, you know, well, just continue, I guess. We are going to go back to this little island, I think. Uh, it expects you to just continue and, you know, as usual. So the game only anticipates you to get one rocket launcher, but you can theoretically get, you know, as many as you want. I guess I should have just gone straight for the rocket launcher, so I wouldn't have had to do this again. Oh, that's my bad. I guess I'll keep this in. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I'm only going to get the one rocket launcher because really, there's only one place in the game I'm going to need a rocket launcher. And it is against a certain boss. But again, we'll get to that like much later on. Can I knife this? What the fuck? Being attacked by poultry. Come on, Shabba. Let's go... I think we'll still go back to the ship, but we're not going to grab the rocket launcher. We'll just go for the treasure. And I think there's some ammo as well. <coughs> you grab it. Roger. Nice. So yeah, it can be pretty boring just waiting for me to go to these little areas, I suppose. Oh yeah, there's another medallion here. Take it. Okay. Nice and easy to see in plain sight. I think there's another chalice in here. Yeah, another silver one. So what I'm just doing, I'm kind of just hopping to all of these locations where there are secret stuff. I guess now we're gonna go to... I think this is the exact route we was doing on the practice run. It literally doesn't matter. I've just gotta go to three separate locations where there are slates to pick up. Here's the first location. And this is the largest, I think, of the three. At least it feels the largest. Emerald. Yeah, there's another one here. I thought there was. Another fucking chicken. I hope it doesn't attack me again. That's just a brown egg. Uh, I'm not interested in that. Again, eggs are just like in RE4. They'll just heal you up. White eggs do small health. Brown eggs do medium amount of health. And gold eggs are big health. What's that? It's just a oven, I think. And uh, there's also rotten eggs, which actually deal 50% of your... Well, they do... They take away 50% of your life. If you eat it, so if you eat two, you did well. I say you die. If you at least go into dying, I don't know how that works. I've never done it. Why would I? But you can. You'd think that. Oh well, that's not that useful. Well, 
you can throw them as uh, projectiles, and they do a lot of damage if they hit enemies. Like, it's... It's almost like it's a silly goof weapon in that regard, but, you know. I think doing a assist jump up there will get us a treasure. I was wrong. That actually gets the slate and spawns enemies. Of course I'm fucking wrong. Well... Where's this dude coming? Anyway, this is the new enemy type. We don't longer have the uh, the townspeople. Now we have the uh, the fucking the uh, I guess the natives. And these are the dudes that will literally duck over bullets. Oh, oh wait, did I just say duck over? Duck under bullets, should I say? I'm not feeling it today, I must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Right. Oh. Nice. I guess I should be trying to do that more. Shiver, please. Just take guns away from her so she can stop doing stuff. Oh, uh, still looking good on ammo. That's fine. All right, here we go. Come on, man. Alright, this guy, I think this guy has a Plagas in him, yep, and if Sheva wasn't a stupid cunt, I could stop shooting him for just two seconds so it wouldn't sprout anything, I was going to try and get a neck breaker on him. Also, I can't reload for some reason, it just seems a bit buggy. your knees. Fuck off. Now these enemies aren't too bad in general, although they can they do have an attack where they can put you into dying status. They'll basically pick you up in their giant mouths and uh, try eating you. I think it's dead. No, it's not. Fuck. Now it's dead. Okay. However, keep keep this in mind because. On my practice run, oh my god, there's one of these fuckers later on in the game uh, that just doesn't seem to die for some reason. And you'll, I mean, we'll get around to that, of course. But oh my god, it just makes me so angry just thinking about it because, oh my god, I got so pissed off having to kill it. Like, I poured so much fucking ammo into it and it just wouldn't budge. It wouldn't even, like, get staggered at any point, like where it falls to its knees, it wouldn't even get staggered at all. Wait, hold on. I'm glad I didn't forget. I'm an idiot. God, I, 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 I'm being honest, I'm having brain farts today, I cannot think. I, just feel, I kind of feel a bit groggy, honestly, I don't know. Probably shouldn't be recording under this context, but fuck it. 
I'll do it anyway because, uh, you know. I'm a rebel like that, I suppose. I will suffer so I can give you folks content, I guess. Yeah, I just didn't want to forget that treasure. I, I also keep forgetting which one has the slate, but it's the one... It's the one on the right side. So I think, yeah, enemies start spawning now in these towers. Slow down. It's hard enough to shoot as it is. You don't need to shoot them, we're just gonna go past them. What did she just say? There are fish here? Why bring that up? Alright, second area. Uh, yeah. This area's... This area's fun. There are crocodiles in here. And it's not as hard as you'd probably think, but uh, I don't want to get caught by them because they will kill you instantly. So let's just try and run through here quickly. There'll be one coming out of here somewhere, so I want to kind of kite it out. Right, pick this up. Where is it? Wait, what? Grab it! I forgot where the fucking... the treasure was. I almost bit the dust. I almost kicked the proverbial bucket. Only because I, I thought it was further along that, like, little set of wood planks, but clearly not. Why does Sheva have an egg? Give me that. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna numb it straight down. I do need health, so... You grab it. Roger. Rifle ammo. We'll never say no to that. Right. There's a dude around here. Near this window. Take that. Okay, the raptor slate. Right. Time to leave. I guess. Really? Really? I said to myself, don't get stuck on nothing. What the f Okay, I'm fucking mad. I've got to go through this again. <sighs> See you in a second, guys. Alright, we're back. Alright, that really fucking tilted me. Because I tried running to the right, but there's like a little invisible back... Cheva? What are you doing? What the fuck did she just do? Why did she jump down? No, anyway. <laughs> There's like a little invisible, like, pole there that blocked me from running around. And that pissed me off. What the fuck? Is that a fish? I hope that was a fish. Alright, so I don't know how I'm going to get past this little fucker. I'm obviously going to run past him. But fuck it. Well. Oh. 
See, they're pretty easy to avoid for the most part. But of course, I just got unlucky and the game kind of cooked me. Alright. Sheva, stop being retarded. What are you doing? <laughs> just get on the skiff. Hopefully I don't get shot here. Wait, anyway, that's the first death, I think. And of course it came to some stupid bullshit. Anyway, let's head off to the last slate. Should be a treasure on here, I think. Yeah. Pick it up. Yeah, I'm probably only going to be able to get like this first chapter in on this part because it's going to be a long one. And the thing is, the next chapter's long too, so uh, I don't know how I'm even formatting this series. Uh, I'm just trying to stay under an hour if possible. So it saves time on me fucking uploading it. Uh... Give me this. Give that back to her. Treasure there. Fish! Fish! Alright, so there's enemies that are gonna spawn here. And I wanna have a shotgun right here. That's exactly why. Okay, my aim is all over the place today. Why is my rifle ammo there? <laughs> Get fucked. Oh, he died. Nah, you're good. I'm gonna keep. He's gonna keep jumping to the side there, buddy. Whoa! Matrix. Can't keep coming out of nowhere. Oh, stop picking it up! I do it out of habit. Oh yeah, there's this guy who's retarded and can't climb up for some reason. Like he tries jumping up. Right, so I think that might be an issue like tied to the frame rate, perhaps, because I ne I remember never having this problem uh, on the copies on the Xbox 360, uh, but for some reason on PC this they just fucking bug out, I don't know what the hell happens to them. Uh, and this, uh, the reason I bring that up is because uh, this, it, it's probably going to become relevant in the next chapter, but you can kind of abuse it, actually I think later this chapter as well, I don't, I don't know why, I think it's when enemies are out of bounds and are trying to get in bounds. It happens, but it doesn't. It's it's not exclusive to that. Like some enemies can be in bounds and still get caught on the scenery. I don't know. I think it's it's when they're trying to like drop off of a platform or jump onto a platform. 
and I don't know, it's weird. I, I just think sometimes the enemy AI just can't do it, like the frame rate just bugs out and he just locks them in place. I, I don't know. I literally do not know the reason for it. Alright, we have all four slates. And that's pretty much the first part of the mission done. And yes, that was just the first part. Now we gotta get out of here. Back it up, back it up. Oh, I don't think she has enough ammo. Huh. I don't know what she's gonna do if she don't have enough ammo. Oh, I didn't think about this. What? What hit me? I wasn't near that. What do I do? Does he just die? Uh, I didn't think about this. I've never had this issue. Does it just go down eventually? Or do I have to stop off and give her fucking ammo? Do I have to... Oh, I'm gonna go... Hold on a minute. For fuck's sake. Sheva, you are incompetent. Can you not hold on to your own ammo? Two seconds. I've got to fucking give her one of my weapons. Oh! What the fuck? What do I do about this? Dude, I've never had this issue. Are you serious? And there's, I can't snipe him because I don't have a fucking bead on him from over here. Actually, maybe, oh, actually, I might do. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, I've got to hit these shots, though. Alright, there we go. Did that do it? It looks like it did do it. Hold on. Yeah, he's down. All right, so I guess if you have a uh, if you have a rifle, I guess you can still do it, but that's fucking stupid, man. If she didn't blow through fucking eight thousand rounds of bullets like just randomly, we won't have this issue, you dumb bitch. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be so rude, but it is her fault. The thing is, she's on cover mode. She's not on attack, so she shouldn't be so aggressive with her ammo consumption. Right, hopefully we can get through here. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Well, we're done with this area. Thank the lord. So if I come over here and I already have all the slates, the uh, the slate map is gone. Like if I come here for the first time. Okay. Moving on. Moving on up. I probably shouldn't sing considering the fact that I, I just can't. Another medallion here. And there is a dude over here. Do I have enough room for the upcoming requirement? I do, I think. I'm gonna give her that hand grenade though. Just to make sure I do have space. I'm 
This is a nice large area. I'm sure nothing bad will happen here. Uh, Come on, Roger. You can't pick that up. Give, right, me, give me this. Reload. Thanks, a grenade. If we come across more uh, machine gun ammo, we'll do the same thing. There we are. You know, give just give me that for now. Uh, she has plenty of heals. We don't need more healing items. We're getting overstocked with healing items. But I do need ammo. What's that? Magnum ammo. That's right. I wonder if you. I wonder if you can tell what what weapon we're gonna get. Should be obvious. The thing is, though, I mean, we do need it, but I'm not. Uh, she's fucking full. Need it. I, okay, I need to increase her uh, ammo capacity. Where? No, I don't want to go that way first. Oh no, shit, they're here already. Sheva, you dumb bitch. Sheva, come here. Pick it up. This is her fault. Up. What the fuck? Why are they here? Alright, so they're big boys here. Uh, they turned up way too quickly. I don't know why they aggroed so fast. This wasn't part of the plan. Alright, well anyway, I have a magnum now. Sheva has been a useless little shit this episode. I fucking hate her. She's just, she's always causing problems. I wonder if that actually, I wonder if those spikes did damage. God oh, damn it, why do they have to miss my shots? Uh, okay, this is a problem. She was right there on the heels, she knew it was going to happen ahead of time. Precognition. Yeah, good one. Yeah, good one. Yeah, I hate your friend. This is not going well. This entire episode has gone badly because I'm not prepared for some reason. Alright, there we go. That was okay. They both drop, uh, these dudes always drop, uh, blue enigmas, which look very pretty. Just drop. Somehow I can break his neck even though I can't get to his, uh, well, to his neck, really. No, you prick. around. Uh, you're too slow. Chris, you, you, your biceps are weighing you down. It's all that downward force. Gravity is not kind to you. Put that down. Hi. Wonderful. So yeah, th those big guys, I guess, I guess they're the only threat, really. Come on, Roger. Get here. What are you carrying? Why do you... Oh. Yeah, you see this? Fuck you. You don't need that. Why do you have an incendiary grenade? They aren't that good. They have minor uses.
Uh, I'm trying to think. Did I get everything here? Let's check the high ground again. I think I did. Yeah, it does seem so. And there's a boy here somewhere. Seems like he's up there. What? Oh, no, he's here. Okay. Should be the last guy, I think. Nope. Okay. Well, last time on my practice run, there was a dude over here that I had to kill. There he is. There he is! <laughs> Here he is. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Look at this shit. Ah, and then he learnt how to climb over walls. Well, I guess they're evolving. Their brain cells... Are expanding. And that's that encounter. So that's pretty much it now. That's pretty much this chapter done for. Uh, somewhat long, and uh, unfortunately, this is the only one I'm gonna do in this part, but uh. Yeah. Uh, Shiver okay. can do that. So I don't have to sit there spinning the analog stick for 12 years. Snack. Another snack. Twin snack. Large gold. Gold, gold. Uh, I don't need that. Machine gun ammo, I can give her that. More gold. Right, let her through. Against my better judgement, but... You know. What can I... Wait. Give okay, me give me this. And you know what we're gonna do? This can go in the fucking bin. You need that ammo, because you actually need to be able to cover me if I get into a sticky situation. I need to increase her capacity, because uh, that's a real problem. And there's a treasure here, ceremonial mask. And that should be it, really. That pretty much wraps this chapter up. get on this gondola, and that'll be it. There we go! End of chapter 3-1. That didn't go very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm a bit, I don't know why, I, I only played it yesterday and I already feel really rusty, I need to get back into this. And that's the first death, tragically, but uh, yeah. Not much I can do there. It was just, uh, it was just fucking invisible barriers, really. I mean, I swear it was an invisible, like, pole that was there. Because I wasn't even close to the wall, yet I tried walking past it and I was clipping on something. So I couldn't really move. Oh, wow. Well, well alright, I'll see you guys in the next part when we will we'll tackle... 3-2, which uh, is quite a uh, high-octane mission. See you then.